Hello and welcome to the 30k channel, a channel dedicated to games set in the Horus Heresy. I'm your host David Brains, and we are lucky today we have got Ben Taylor. G'day Ben. G'day. And we have Jody Leach. G'day Jody. Hello. Now we've got something a little bit different for you today. You know, I'm desperately trying to drive value for money for you subscribers to the website and get some more games out for you. Uh, so we've got something which we call in quick format. It's a bit of a bad title at the moment, um, but if you've got a better idea about what we can call these shorter bite-sized kind of games, then uh, just leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Um, but we've got a really awesome scenario, haven't we? We've got yeah, the we'll Alpha Legion fun. attacking the Raven Guard. Mm. And Ben, you've got a good story to tell us, haven't you? Yeah, so basically, if you've read the book uh, Deliverance Lost by Black Library, you'll know that the Alpha Legion have a little infiltrate mission um, on the Raven Guard gene tech facility called mm. Ravendelf on the planet Kiavar. Um, I won't spoil the ending because you might see it in the game. <laughs> uh, but basically, yeah, we're after the gene tech that the Raven Guard got from the Emperor. Yes, yeah, so essentially, we, on the Zomal Talis board, we've got a, a generator, and it's the Alpha Legion's job to shut the generator down to allow Omegon to yeah. access the gene tech. That's it, yeah. Cool. So it's kind of like a mission behind a mission almost, because uh, yeah. you know, we don't have an Alpha's model, and we, you know, we don't <laughs> yeah. have gene tech stuff. So They all are. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> very true. Uh, so we've got a few special rules for this mission. Uh, it's a very narrative-driven dri mission. There's no victory points. There's no Slay the Warlord. There's no whatever... Essentially, if the Alpha Legion have a model at the end of the game in contact with the computer console where the two power generators are, then the Alpha Legion win the game. Yeah. Uh, if not, then the Raven Guard win. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they kick them back out again. Then you kick them back <laughs> out again, exactly. Uh, and then we've got four consoles around the complex. Uh, if the Alpha Legion get in contact with those at the beginning of the turn, just like a normal objective, then you can open D3 doors. Yep. Sorry. And there's loads of doors in this facility, yeah. so it will help the, the Alpha Legion out. Yeah. We've got two really lovely armies here for you. It's a really good fluffy list. Um, I'm quite looking forward to this. I don't know how it's going to yeah. pan out. I'm um, not sure. I like killing black armies. So. <laughs> it's either going to be short and brutal or really drawn out. Yeah. I mean, could could be, yeah, it could be a good fun one, I think. And you've got quite similar lists as well, just a couple of variations, haven't you? Yeah, just literally, yeah. They saw mine and copied it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> copied it, took one thing out, put an extra bread in. Yeah. Done. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, yeah, okay. But Jodie, you've got a couple of new units today, haven't you? You've been painting some new units. Yes, I bought some uh, Volkite Chargers, just yes. for fun, just to give them a go. Uh, and I bought uh, another Vet Squad. Great stuff. So, a bit of plasma. That's good, eh? And we've decided not to use the cold and the void rules because yeah. they are quite small armies. And we, we, we were chatting this morning and we think that the, they're just going to get shredded real fast yeah. if we use cold. So yeah. We've got enough plasma on the table to do that anyway. So Definitely. Yeah. And carries. And carries. So yeah. much carries. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Looking forward to it. We're going to go straight into the list so you can find out exactly what these guys have taken. And then we'll see you at the beginning of turn one where the Raven Guard have first turn. Yep. We'll hold out. Good stuff. 1500 point Raven Guard, combatant Zomortalis Force Organization, running Chosen Duty. HQ choice for the Raven Guard, we've got Delegatus in Terminator Armor with the Chosen Squad. He is running a Combi Melter with Chain Fist, Digi Lasers, Iron Halo. His Chosen have all got Combi Melters, Chain Fists, Champion with Standard with a Combi Bolter. You're then got a Chaplain with a Maul and Jump Back and he's got a Melter Bomb. Elite's Contemptor Dreadnought armed with Keras Pattern Assault Cannon, Dreadnought Chain Fist with a Melter Gun inside. The second Elite's choice, my Dark Furies, each armed with Raven's Talons, uh, Chosen of the Slain has Melter Bombs. First troop choice, Tactical Support Squad, each running Volkite Chargers with additional Chain Swords, Sergeant's got Artist for Armor and Melter Bombs. Second troop squad, 10 Vets, 2 Plasma Guns, Vet Sergeant carrying a Combi Plasma, uh, Artist for Armor, my third and final troop squad, 10-man vets, or two suspensive missiles, artists for armor on the sergeant. These are more Dethan models, but they're so nice. It's a shame not to run them as a game, so I tend to run them as vets. 1,500 points of Alpha Legion, Zoe Mortalis Combatant Force, using the Pride of the Legion Right of War. My HQ choice is a Delegatus, armed with Artificer Armor, Refractor Field, Melter Bombs, and a Power Axe. Elite's choice is a Quarters Contemptor Talon, both armed with Kerry's Assault Cannons and Dreadnought Close Combat Weapons. I call them the Twins. Second Elite choice is a unit of three Apothecaries, all armed with Artificer Armor and Power Swords. They'll be allocated to each Veteran Squad. Troops choice contains three Veteran Squads, all armed exactly the same. I have one Plasma Gun, three Combi Plasmas, one Combi Flamer, and the Sergeant 
as Power Fist, Power Dagger and Artificer Armor. Heavy slot is taken up by a heavy support squad armed with Volkite Culverins. Ben, Jody, we're deployed, ready to go. Yep. yep. Now, Ben, you've snuck around the board quite a lot, haven't you? I have, yeah. Using infiltrate and scout, managed to get quite close to the Raven Guard. So hopefully we'll be able to get involved quite quickly. Great stuff. And you've virtually encircled them already, haven't you? Yeah, so I've got them covered at all angles. Turn two carnage, I think. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jody, uh, your Raven Guard are going first, but Ben, would you like to seize? Most definitely. Going to seize. Great stuff. So let's have a friendly handshake. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. And then on to the seize. <laughs> No. Oh, what a shame. So, Raven Guard turn one. End of Raven Guard turn one. Uh, I've moved my Dark Furies up to cover one door, moved my Commander Squad to cover the other, and I'm just waiting for the Alphas now so I can shoot them. Alpha Legion turn one movement. I had two models in contact with the terminals, so I was open, able to open five doors. So, I've opened that big hallway there so the Volkites can shoot down at the Raven Guard. I've pushed forward with the vet squads, the one on the left only a little bit, the one on the right um, moved him quite far up as far as I can really, just to get, get in that little tiny door maybe next turn. Uh, the Contemptors moved and ran, um, we've done that in the movement phase just to make it easy. But yeah, just moving up really, getting, getting in the firing lines. Alpha Legion to turn one shooting, the Volkite Culverins opened up on the Raven Guard Volkite squad. 16 shots, 12 hits, 9 wounds. Managed to take off two with the original shooting, and Deflagrate Rule took off one more. Quite happy with that. They've taken a leadership test and, and they passed. The uh, vet squad on the right has uh, ran up another two inches. Raven Guard movement turn two. Uh, managed to roll well, and the plasma squad have come on from the right hand side of the table. Missile squad are still sat drinking their cups of tea. Movement-wise, in the centre, Dark Furies have stayed, Command Squad have stayed. Uh, Chargers, after getting smashed in the head, have moved back out of the way and hiding away from the Volkites. And uh, the Contemptors come in to uh, come have some fun with the heavy weapons teams. Raven Guard shooting turn two. Plasma guys opened up, hit four, killed three. Uh, they failed their leadership test, so they're now running. Dirty traitors. Uh, Contemptor opened up in the middle, uh, shot, hit three killed two. Uh, they've passed their leadership test, so they're, they're back open to uh, shoot next turn. Uh, end of my turn. Alpha Legion movement turn two. Uh, my veteran squad have come on outflank down the side. Uh, they're hoping to get some plasma shots at his Terminator squad. The other vet squad uh, have just pushed up a little bit, uh, prepared probably for the turn after. The Volkite squad have moved out of the way so the Dreadnoughts can push up and get some shots on the other Dreadnought. And my veteran squads are fleeing on the other side. They failed their leadership test with a score of 11 and are running away, most likely to get cut down in the next Raven Guard turn. So on to shooting. Also to note, the Volkite Culverin squad opened two doors with their D3 roll. They've opened the one here at the side and the one in the middle for the Dreadnought. Alpha Legion turned to shooting. The veteran squads at the, the flank uh, shot three combi plasmas, hit with four, Four wounds killed the Raven Guard Delegatus. The veteran squad ran up three inches just to try and cover that door. The Contemptor caught his dreadnought, the one at the front, has shot six carry shots into the Raven Guard dreadnought. Uh, managed to penetrate once, um, but the Raven Guard player rolled a six to save. Turn three Raven Guard movement. Uh, rolled for reserves, the last unit of vets have come on, deployed down in the bottom corner to act as uh, backup. Other vets have moved up and through, ready to try and load into the uh, running away Alpha Legion, try and thin them out a little bit more. Centre of the table, 
opened up the doors. Dark Furies are moving their way into the Vet Squad in the middle. They'll be supported by the Volkite Chargers just behind who are going to shoot through and try and thin them out a bit, give me some space to charge into. Terminators filing out through the door and they're going to uh, have some fun with their chain fists into the uh, Vet Squad on the other side. And then my Contemptor in the middle, he has walked back to uh, let the other Contemptors just stroll them down through the centre of the table. We'll have some fun with them in a bit. Raven Guard shooting turn three. Veteran Squad uh, opened up with their Bolt Pistols, 10 into the fleeing Alpha Legion, so then I can charge them next turn. All 10 hit, nothing. Nothing happened. Uh, Apothecary managed to uh, let them save two wounds. The Volkite charges in the middle, open fire into the other Vet Squad. Uh, 10 hits, two wounds, uh, only one died from there. Chaplin then opened up with his Bolt Pistol and he managed to kill one, which was lucky. Uh, then the Terminators opened up the Combi Bolt at the front, did nothing. Then the two Melters opened up and they killed two Marines. Raven Guard turn three assault. Terminator squad have charged in. The Alpha Legion did their reactionary fire test. Rolled a five and I need a four under, so I had to overwatch using BS1. Uh, managed to score one hit, uh, or one wound even, shall I say, uh, which is on the standard bearers, so two wounds, so all three are still alive. They've made the charge and uh, it's now going to get interesting. Dark Furies have made the charge. A very unlucky Ben made his reaction fire. Yep, so I passed my reaction fire initiative test. I unloaded my plasma gun and two combi plasmas and the rest of the bolters into the Dark Furies. Managed to score three wounds uh, on the unit, so it took, it took three guys out, which helps a lot in the, like the following combat phase. Raven Guard Vet Squad uh, charging in on the right. Ben failed his initiative test. So I fired uh, my combi plasma and all my bolters didn't do any wounds. Um, as they were fleeing, they had to take a leadership test, uh, which they passed. So they now fight as normal. If they'd have failed, they would have been wiped out to a man. Um, but luckily didn't. Raven Guard vets charged in. We had 40 attacks, managed to cause 20 wounds, only killed three due to Ben doing some amazing saving. Then Ben managed to attack back. Yeah, my veterans attacked back. Uh, did quite a few wounds, but Jody managed to save all but two. Uh, so I, I failed leadership by one. So I, ro so I rolled my leadership and I was fine. Dark Furies charged in, managed to kill four. Uh, I was really affected by the Overwatch and losing three on the charge. That's really, really dented those guys. The Alpha Legion struck back, um, killed the, but basically the remaining three Marines, and then consolidated one each. Terminators charged in on the left flank into the Alpha Legion. Alpha Legion went first uh, with a lot of attacks, didn't manage to do any wounds at all. Then the Sergeant initiative one with his Power Fist killed two. And then the Raven Guard attacked me back with their Power Fists. I had nine attacks, managed to wipe out six because it was all double taps, and then they ran away and we charged them down. Alpha Legion turn three movement. Veteran Squad sort of recouped and backed up a bit, shut that door down with the Volkites using the terminal. My Contemptors moved and ran uh, 11 inches total, and the Volkites then ran just to come around that corner, but leaving one Marine in base to base contact with the computer terminal. To open doors next turn. Alpha Legion turn three assault. We skipped the shooting phase as I didn't have much shooting to do except my dreads running up. The veterans uh, carried on their assault here. The Alpha Legion versus Raven Guard. Raven Guard had about 24 attacks and didn't wound any. Um, the veterans of the Alpha Legion sort of fought back. Again, didn't do any wounds, but the Sergeant Initiative One Power Fist killed one. Uh, so the Raven Guard lost assault but passed their leadership test. Raven Guard movement turn four. I've moved my Volkite Chargers have come round, opened up the door. Contemptor has moved up behind them to give them support and he is going to open fire into the Cortis. The remaining Terminator has moved back, ready to cover the plasma generators, waiting for the Vet Squad to come in from the other side. Raven Guard assault turn four. Contemptor Dread is attempting to charge 11 inches into the Cortis Dreads front. He does have fleet, so we do get to re-roll. So, so, nine, failed. Veteran squad assaulting on the right-hand side. Rolled loads of dice, failed miserably, managed to kill one. Ben managed to attack back. I killed three, 
Uh, they failed the leadership test. We did an initiative test and I swept them. So now my Elf Legion have consolidated three inches and they're going to try and push up on that other vet squad. Alpha Legion turn four movement. Final big push really. Veterans have moved through the one door that I could open from the terminal. So they've moved up. They're going to shoot and charge the Volkite charger squad. Contemptors have moved up full six inches. They're going to try and charge the Dreadnought and the Volkite squad as well. Uh, and the veterans on the right hand side have moved up so that they can't see or assault the Raven Guard veterans as it's sort of uh, an alleyway. Uh, lastly, the Volkites have also pushed up and they're going to try and snapshot the Volkite squad. Alpha Legion turn for shooting. The veterans moved through the door and shot at the Volkite Charger squad. They managed to take two out. The Contemptors fired the, both their carries into the other Dreadnought, managed to do two hole points, and it's now shaken. The Volkites at the back snapshot at the Volkite Chargers of the Raven Guard, took one guy off, one Marine off. And the veterans on the right hand side just ran up one inch just to cover that side of the board. Alpha Legion turn for assault. The front quarters contemptor charged the contemptor talent of the Raven Guard. It only had one hole point left. We struck at the same initiative. I penetrated him once. The Raven Guard player did not save him with his six up in vulnerable. Uh, and I wrecked him. So he is a wreck standing there now with that, in, in, in the middle of that smoke. The quarters contemptor then uh, consolidated D6 inches and took a dangerous terrain test as he went through the wreckage. Very, very happy with that. Raven Guard movement turn five. This is potentially the last turn of the game, so I have to play to stop the Alpha Legion from coming through. Uh, in light of that, the Volkite Chargers have moved away from the Contemptors and gone for the Vet Squad on the left. Terminator has moved up as well to help lend his fire. The Vets on the right-hand side have moved on through to open fire into the Volkite Culverins and hopefully stop them from getting anywhere near the control terminal. Raven Guard shooting, the Volkite Chargers opened up, killed two of the Alpha Legion veterans, so they've blocked up that doorway quite nicely. Then the other vet squad, which was on the right hand side of the table, they have opened up with five bolters into the Colvite heavy weapon squad at the back and managed to take out three of them. So as it stands at the end of the shooting phase, we're doing quite well. Raven Guard assault turn five. Uh, the Raven Guard made the charge, reaction fire, did nothing. Then on the actual assault phase itself, nothing got killed. The Raven Guard fluffed everything and then Ben got to attack back. Yeah, my attack's back. I've got a power fist, a power axe and a power sword in there. And I only actually managed to kill one Marine because of my terrible dice rolling. So not very good. I was hoping to try and wipe that squad and consolidate up, but not to be, unfortunately. Alpha Legion turn five movement. My Quartus Contemptor with full wounds have moved up to shoot the hell out of that Raven Guard veteran squad. Volkat Carvin has also moved up behind him. The Quartus Contemptor that's lost his carries is going to try and take a pot shot at the Terminator with the bolter in his fist. And the three man vet squad on the right flank is going to shoot and charge that vet squad to try and pull them back round away so my Volkat Carvin can maybe take the objective at the end of the game. But I won't be able to do it this turn. I need a sixth turn to be able to do it. So. Here's, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Alpha Legion turn five shooting. The Quartus Contemptor opened up with his carries and killed two Raven Guard veterans. The, co the Culverin, Volkite Culverin, Alpha Legionnaire shot his, or snapshot his Volkite Culverin, didn't do anything. The veterans on the other side of the wall shot their bolt pistols, didn't kill anything. And the Quartus Contemptor with just his fist took two pot shots with his bolter. Did two hits, one wound, but the, the Terminator saved it on a two up, which is very unfortunate for me, but very good for the Raven Guard player, Jody. Alpha Legion, turn five, assault phase. Not a bad turn, not exactly how I wanted it to go, but I am happy. The Court of Contemptor, Hammer Raftin, didn't do anything. His fist attack killed one Raven Guard Marine. On the right flank, my veterans charged into the same squad, pulled them back round. Uh, they killed three Raven Guard veterans. In turn, the Raven Guard player hit me back and killed my Alpha Legionnaire. Uh, they did fail the combat, but passed their leadership test. So we are stuck in combat at the moment. 
In the middle, my veteran squad, well, one veteran sergeant left, along with my warlord and apothecary, managed to wipe the uh, Volkite Charger, Raven Guard, Legionnaires, and consolidated one inch. If I managed to get a roll of six, I would have been on the computer and, and um, when technically maybe won the game if it ends now, but we need to roll to see if we go to a turn six. So on a dice roll of a three, we are going to turn six. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. It's the only way I can win this game. Raven Guard turn six. My final movement by the looks of it. My lone Terminator is gonna try and hold up the Warlord and his Retorine behind. Fingers crossed we can make this one. Raven Guard turn six shooting. All that's left is the lone Terminator with his combi bolter. So two bolts. Missed. One, one hit one. Ready, fours. Yep, one save needed. Two up save on the sergeant. Made it. Raven Guard turn six assault. Alpha Legion have made reactionary fire. Yep, so my sergeant fired his bolter, didn't do any wounds. The Warlord and the Apothecary fired their bolt pistols and they got two normal wounds on the Terminator. So the Terminator's got two saves to make, two up. Ready? No, he's dead! Oh. That's it. Well done. Raven Guard vets on the right hand side, continuing assault. Rolled nine dice, fluffed all of them. Uh, did no damage whatsoever. Alpha Legion and the Contemptor got to attack back. Yeah, uh, wiped them out. Oh no, it actually didn't wipe them out. It took them down to one man, but they failed their leadership and they got swept. So my guys have just pushed up. My Marines have just pushed up. Um, and then in, in my turn six, there are no Raven Guard Marines left, so I've technically won the game. But my turn six, I would have moved up to take control of the console, which then leaves and gives permission for Omegon to capture the Gene Tech in the other facility around the corner. So a win for the Alpha Legion today. Very happy with that. That was it. That was the raid on Kiev. What an amazing game. Super tight, so wasn't nice. it? Very, so, very so tight. tight. I was a bit worried this morning when we all set it up and thought, well, the Alpha Legion got no chance getting through those doors, getting into that little hot box room there where the generator was, but but they did it, didn't they? They did. There was some, yeah, really good dice rolling and some really shocking dice rolling on both sides, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah it kind of flipped and uh, flopped for me a little bit. Yeah, I had some terrible dice at some points, but then some good dice on others. So yeah. I think it was a bit swinging a miss on some things, but yeah, good. It was good. And, and um, you know, on that, that final turn, you rolled that three up to get to turn six and you just snuck in there. I needed it. Needed that extra turn. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, the one with the game, fortunately. Overwatching that Terminator. Oh. Yeah, Overwatch in general did really well. Mm. I think for both of us, the, the reaction fire was brilliant. Mm. It's such a great rule, I think, as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, I absolutely loved it. So it was a really cool game. It was a short format game. You know, we've not really done these before. Um, we haven't really got a, a name for this series of games. We're doing a lot more of these. So maybe if you can comment or send us a message about what you think we should call these Centurion or short yeah. format or... Or whatever. Um, uh, any moments you just want to talk about quickly before we go? Right, uh, Jody, what was good for you? Uh, good for me was uh, seeing how the Terminators did. Mm. The charging on the left hand into the flank into the Alpha Legion Vets was brilliant. Obviously, losing the Delegatus to Overwatch was really annoying, but the remaining three held mm. their ground really, yeah. really well. That is good. Uh, and, and Ben, what about you? I think the Veteran Squad, squad on, on the, the right flank, the one that died um, to. Well, they sorry, they fell back from uh, from shooting, yeah. and they fell back again. Took the charge, but passed the leadership test. Then fought, beat them, moved back up. They are literally the hardest veteran squad I own. I think they're Omega squad, so they and, they need a touch of a point. They the vet squad as well. <laughs> they did. They helped definitely. Yeah, so they're definitely man of the match for me today. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Eh? And now don't forget, we've taken lots of photos of this game. They will be on the Facebook page when this uh, when this game is released on the website. Uh, now, Jody, you've got a few enterprises outside of curricular activity. Can you yep. tell us about those? Uh, I am the, the face of the XLC. Uh, we are a little model making company. We deal with MDF terrain, uh, bits and bobs like that. You can follow us on our website uh, and myself on Instagram. is Jody at the XLC.co.uk. Yeah, we just make as much fun and uh, enjoy it, really. Yeah, they make some great products, so please go and give them a like and, and check out their products. Uh, and Ben, as some of you may know, Ben does all the social media for the channel. He does a really great job in growing the numbers for us and, and getting us out there. Uh, but you also have your own account, don't you? Yeah, so I have Instagram, at Omega Alpharius. So, yeah, give us a follow or a like. I don't 
post that much, but I do try to post a bit. It's mainly posting on the 30k channel every day. So if you yeah, see any spelling yeah. mistakes, it's my fault, not, not mine. <laughs> Which well, is me because I forward sometimes, it's usually wrong, and Ben has to correct all my errors. So uh, it does a really great job for us. Uh, but those two uh, addresses will be up on the bottom for you to have a look at. Um, all it made to say is thank you, gents. It's mm, very good. Thank you. It's You're good, fun. good. You're pretty local to the channel, both of you, so we might get you back on for maybe a rematch or a match against somebody else. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Oh, see, see if we can try and stop Omega from getting out. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah, We'll chase him down. Yeah. That'll be good. Good stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next game. Uh...